Welcome back Super Nintendo Collectors, Alex here with another video, hope you're well guys. Now I'm really excited in this video to review for the first time, and I don't think anyone's ever seen this uh, stick before or even got their hands on this yet, because this is a prototype of the Sawzu Arcade Stick by Shika Arcades. Now I was given this to review for my channel from Shika Arcades, because um, I know how much I love my Super Nintendo, and I do use arcade sticks quite a lot, obviously in my arcade games, but I've never really found a decent arcade stick for the Super Nintendo. I've got the Scoremaster to compare it to, and to be honest with you, that feels like a toy in comparison. And I've got the ASCII arcade stick, the Scoremaster, which is good, it does what it says on the tin. Um, it's got a nice joystick, but the buttons are not arcade buttons at all, and it's very light and flimsy, but it's a cheap, uh, cheap option uh, and that's what I've been playing on most of the time but to be honest with you I've always wanted a more arcade feel and there really isn't any decent arcade sticks for the Super Nintendo I think a few popped up on the Super Famicom in Japan they're made of tin they're tin plate arcade sticks and I have owned one of those before but because they're made of tin they do echo uh, the sound of the buttons when you're clicking them inside the actual uh, arcade stick so it's a very noisy arcade stick this, on the other hand, is handmade from one block of bamboo and it's absolutely stunning, guys. So without further ado, let's open this baby and uh, check out this beautiful and exquisite arcade stick. So when this arrived in the post, guys, I was really surprised to find this beautiful storage box with Sawzu Chic Arcades in first edition, beautifully etched onto the top sliding lid here and um, you just slide the, the lid across and you can see it's beautifully presented inside in foam actually comes with a t-shirt as well and there's loads of bubble wrap inside which I've taken out obviously because I've already opened this and um, comes with an envelope a sealed envelope which I've already obviously already opened and inside you've got a certificate of authentication um, mine's a prototype so it's got prototype number four fourth prototype made and it's got the finish there dual tone which is really nice and then you've got card for uh, remapping controls and features which we'll go into a little bit later and we've just got a warranty and precautions card just showing you how to look after it now um, the lead itself here is braided for extra strength really tough it's actually got a little sleeve here with first edition on here just for extra strength if anyone walks past and accidentally trips on the wire just gives that little bit of extra strength around the actual connection and then you've got inside a little token here chic arcades token which actually is a homage to um, the japanese arcades the 100 yen coin which is really nice and that's actually on the uh, arcade stick itself and then in the right hand corner here we've got the ball top just gently get that out with a wooden stick and um, we'll wind that up on the shaft now I'm just going to hand tighten this which I found adequate enough but if you want to go a little bit tighter I recommend putting a cloth on here to protect the ball top um, and if you're going to use um, some grips to tighten it up even further, I'll just make sure you protect it or you will scratch the ball top. So that's it guys, this is how it's presented. Now let's take this out of the box and have a look at the features. Right, the, the joystick itself is a JLF joystick, a top of the range arcade stick. And you can feel that straight away as soon as you put your hand on it. It's got a great height, especially for my big hands and it's got that lovely, clickly, responsive feel about it. Also love the fact that the dust cover itself is actually inserted into the bamboo. There's nothing more annoying for me than a dust cover 
that um, after a few games ends up rolling up the stick itself, up the shaft itself, rattling about, and it also ends up scratching the CPO as well. So I really love that design uh, of the dust cover here, and it's actually made of aluminium, and it's got a kind of a twirling effect going on, which kind of gives it like a hologram look. So I really like that joystick, it just feels great, it really does. All the buttons here, guys, they're all Sanwa OBS 30B buttons. Um, top of the range and you know as you would expect they just feel great proper arcade buttons lovely clicky responsive tactile feel about them and the same can be said about the start and select buttons as well also very well positioned um, the analog circuitry which is all made in the UK um, lovely switches up here turbo switch You've got your speed, 0 to 100%, with a lovely aluminium dial, which has got grooves in it for extra grip. Really like that. And also you've got your remapping switches for all your buttons. So you say you've got your L and R buttons at the top. At the click of a switch, you can reverse them. Same with this one here. So really good for that uh, remapping of your buttons mid-game. You know, you haven't got to stop going to settings. They're all there on your arcade stick. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see this is the dark wood. It's got a lovely wax finish to it. It's two-tone. You've got the lighter finish on here. The natural finish is which you'll probably get with the other version. You've got your serial number here, which is minus prototype. And you've got these rubber feet here, which are screwed into each corner, which stop it actually from moving around on surfaces like glass or wood or whatever you're going to put it on. And also, they don't actually dig into your legs as well if you want to have it on your lap. And it's got a good weight to it, guys, as well. So it's got a nice, solid weight. Not too heavy, not too light. Just a good weight. It really is a beautiful arcade stick. Now, without further ado, let's test this out on one of my favourite games, Pocky and Rocky 2. So here we go guys, I'm so excited to play my favourite game on the Super Nintendo with this beautiful arcade stick. And I don't know if you know guys, this was actually released into the arcades uh, Pocky and Rocky, which I actually played for the first time only last week. And um, it's not a patch on the Super Nintendo version, it really isn't. This is so nice, the graphics and the colours really pop on the Super Nintendo version and the music's way better as well. But yeah, this was an arcade game, believe it or not. One player. And this feels so organic at the same time. It just feels like a proper piece of machinery as well. It just feels great. This is so good. Sorry about the camera angles. Trying to get the best angle that you can see the game and the, the arcade stick at the same time. And... Um, it feels great, it really does, guys. I absolutely adore this game. It's a beautiful multi directional shooter. And we'll just have a quick playthrough just to show you what it's like. It's very responsive. I love all the little characters, look the way he's hanging on the roof there. Such a good little game. I'm not going to bother picking anything up here, I'm just going to go straight for it. I've actually got quite far in this game, but obviously we're going to get there in this video. I just want to show you the, the arcade stick in action. Look at that. It's perfect. So I've got turbo on at the moment, so I'm just holding my finger down on the buttons, but I mean, you know, guys, you get the, you get the gist of it, it's so cool. So there we go, guys, that's Pocket Rocket 2, and this is the Sheikah Arcade Stick. Sawzu. 
there it is, guys. That's my review of the Sawzoo Arcade Stick by Chic Arcades. I absolutely love it. I think it's a beautiful addition um, for any Super Nintendo collector. I think it's a must. But guys, with something this exquisite and so well built and handmade, there's a price tag. And the price tag is £450, which is a lot. I mean, it's not gonna be for everyone for sure. It's gonna be for those hardcore collectors who love playing you know, all the arcade games on the Super Nintendo like I do. Um, I would definitely buy one, to be honest with you, because I, I just love the system that much, and I think it deserves a good arcade stick. And you can see the work that's gone into this, guys. This is no ordinary stick. It is absolutely exquisite, it really is. So if you wanna order one of these guys, you have gotta be quick, because there are gonna be probably limited numbers to start with. Um, he's saying here, one man band, this guy is absolutely unbelievable what he's done. If you wanna go and order one of these sticks, go to his website, I'll put a link into this video below, and please check out the, his video at the end of this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.